sports feature. Welcome to the Fat of the Week. I'm Don Dunphy, your ringside commentator. A shot at the lightweight title awaits the winner of tonight's 10-round bout at Madison Square Garden between Carlos Ortiz and Paulo Rossi, both of the Bronx, New York. Ortiz, who was born in Ponce, Puerto Rico, 25 years ago, is the number one contender for Joe Brown's lightweight crown. The former junior welterweight champion, Ortiz is a fine boxer and a solid hitter. His seven-year mark shows 34 victories, four losses, and one no contest. He's knocked out 12 and has never been stopped himself. Rossi, who was born in Rieti, Italy, 33 years ago, is a fast performer who also boxes well and hits hard. But he's had more than his share of hard luck in the squared circle. Being prone to getting cut has caused four of his bouts to be stopped, including one where he was leading champion Brown in the ninth round. In 11 years, Rossi has won 36, lost eight, fought two draws, and KO'd 15. Rossi is five feet seven, while Ortiz is five feet eight. At the New York Commission weigh-in today, both men came in exactly the same, a pound and a half over the lightweight limit at 136 and a half. In just a few minutes, a 10-round lightweight fight between Carlos Ortiz and Paolo Rossi will get underway. Some stores may still have a Gillette adjustable razor with the free World Series Encyclopedia attached. By all means, get it if you can. We're waiting for the fighters in the main event, Paolo Rossi and Carlo Ortiz, to uh, put in a, an appearance. They are not in the ring as yet. They are approaching it, however. Uh, I see over on the side is Carlos Ortiz wearing his famous green uh, bathrobe uh, representing the 69th Regiment of the New York National Guard, the famous Fighting 69th, of which Carlos is uh, a member. He always wears that bathrobe and considers it a lucky omen. Uh, less quaintly attired is Paolo Rossi coming in on the left side of the ring. He's going to operate from that corner, and on the right side of the ring will be Carlos Ortiz. And now up into the center to our very good friend, Johnny Addy. Okay, Ladies and gentlemen, when we come tonight, literally, Farid Salim of Argentina will meet Yama Bahama of Bimini, the main, of, main event of 10 rounds when we come tonight. We'd like you to meet the lightweight champion of Venezuela, the fourth ranking lightweight contender, We'd like to meet the winner of tonight's bout, Carlos Hernandez. Carlos Hernandez. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is the middleweight champion of the British Empire, Dick Tiger. Dick Tiger. Here are the ring officials signed by the New York State Athletic Commission. The judges, Frank Forbes, Joe Agnello, the timekeeper, George Bannon, counting for the knockdowns, Harold Dallin, your referee for the main event, Ruby Goldstein. Ten rounds. Ladies and gentlemen, both boys are from the Bronx, New York. They both weigh exactly the same, 136 and a half pounds. Wearing the black trunks is Paolo Rossi. <laughs> Wearing the white trunks, the former junior welterweight champion, Carlos Ortiz. <laughs> Later than Pena. Is there anything about the rules that you would like to ask me? You know about a mandatory eight pounds, you know about a man getting knocked down three times in one round and lose a fight right then and there. In the clinches, I'm going to let you fight inside till I think it's securely locked in and it's a definite clinch I'm going to ask you to break. Please try to break by yourself without me pulling you apart. Shake hands now, not when you come out, and good luck to both of you. Please. 
Scoring here in New York is on a rounds basis with an auxiliary point system in case the rounds come out even on an official's card. Eight ounce gloves are worn. This is a 10 round bout. Rossi in the black trunks, Ortiz in the white. Both good boxers. Rossi told me he's going to fight Ortiz as he did Lenny Matthews from whom he took all 10 rounds. On a previous occasion, Rossi, uh, or rather Ortiz, knocked out Matthews. These are top flight lightweights. Ruby Goldstein, the arbiter. when he presses his man, Ortiz likes to counterpunch. Ruby tells him to step back clean. is the type of who likes to wait for uh, his opponent to make a mistake. Which is dropping the guard a little bit too soon. Telegraphing a punch. One minute to go on round one. His big problem is to uh, keep from getting cut if he can help it. The only times he has been stopped, four and all, have been because of cuts. Ortiz has never been knocked out. So far, they've neutralized each other's attack. a cut. That right hand is open to cut but beside the left eye of Carlos Ortiz. Ten seconds to go in round one. It is Ortiz in jeopardy from a cut now. There's the bell. And two, Charlie Goldman worked desperately in Ortiz's corner to stem the flow of blood. Has it stemmed at least temporarily? The cut is uh, above the left eye of Carlos Ortiz. And uh, is between the eye and the eyebrow. Now, Ortiz may have to open up as Jorge Fernandez did a few weeks ago when he was cut by Cecil Short. And the cut will probably make Rossi be a little more aggressive now. Each knows the other is a good fighter and he, he dares not make a mistake. Saw a sample of Ortiz counter punching there as Rossi missed. It. A 
little bit more than a minute left in round two. Having a good round. So Rossi throws so many from the outfield. Round two nearly over. There's the bell. We go back to the corner with Carlos Ortiz. The cut didn't reopen in round two. Facing him in there is his manager, or rather his trainer, Sammy Chirin. Ortiz has no manager. He handles his own business. Jimmy August is on the outside of the ring leaning in. And Charlie Goldman, who is the famous cut man and the, the lad who trained uh, Rocky Marciano to the World's Heavyweight Championship, works on that left eye again. Apparently not satisfied with the patch job that was done during round one. Meanwhile, trainer Sharon talks to the former junior welterweight champion. On the other side, we have Paolo Rossi. He's pretty well secluded. Facing him is his trainer, uh, Chick Vitti, who is in charge of the corner. Johnny Sulo is leaning in from the outside, and the other gentleman is almost obscured as Charlie Cassetta, who always works with Paolo Rossi. The warning buzzer is sounded for round three here in Madison Square Garden. Rossi wearing the black trunks, Ortiz the white. Ruby Goldstein is the referee. those long intended haymakers he leaves himself wide open to a counter and Ortiz is quick to take advantage of it. Ortiz, you're seeing an exceptionally fine boxer who also can hit. Punches in there. 
Ten seconds to go in round three. There's the bell. Coming up to round four here in Madison Square Garden, Paolo Rossi, the Black Trunks, Carlos Ortiz, and White. The winner has been promised a shot at lightweight champion Joe Brown. was cut around the left eye in the just at the end of the first round but till now Rossi has not been able to reopen the cut Rossi has a slight cut on the forehead, just above the left eye, but not near it. Just about a minute left in round four. round four. The folks down around Erie, Pennsylvania were wondering about their fine lightweight, Johnny Bezzaro. Uh, Johnny dropped a split decision to Jackie Kelly of New York City in a six-round go here tonight. In another bout, Guillermo Talavera of the Bronx defeated Lou Mazuka of Erie, Pennsylvania in also a split decision. And Johnny Tucker defeated Johnny Alford of Philadelphia. Tucker from Brooklyn. Here's something of interest to all sports fans. Saturday is sports day on ABC. The best in boxing, the best in bowling on Make That Spare After the Fight and NCAA football. Next Saturday, Ohio State at Michigan. Syracuse plays Boston College. Washington State visits Washington. Tomorrow, the American Football League television games in New York at Houston and Dallas at San Diego. Thanksgiving Day college football. Texas meets Texas A&M. Check your local paper for time and station on ABC, television's number one network for sports. Ruby Goldstein, the referee, visited both corners uh, between rounds, probably telling them to pick up the pace, and they're doing it. They're picking it up. Rossi, the black trunks, Ortiz and White. It had been a kind of a leisurely pace before this.
two minutes left in this round. His left eye has reopened ever so slightly. Telling them to keep their heads out, no banging heads. Ten seconds to go in round five. There's the bell. Less than two minutes remain in round six, and the cut besides Ortiz's left eye opens again. It's a slight one at the moment. Started in round one. Ruby tells him to speed up the action. seems to have a cut besides the, beside the right eye. Rossi was the one who was supposed to get cut of anyone. Round six 
six almost over. There's the bell. Next Saturday, the fight of the week is here at Madison Square Garden again. A 10-round middleweight battle between Farid Salim and Yama Bahama. A month ago, Salim, who was middleweight champion of Argentina, made his American debut, winning a unanimous decision against Ted Wright. A crisp puncher and a fine defensive boxer, Salim has won 32 out of 35 fights, lost only one, fought two draws, and knocked out 14. Bahama is one of the toughest competitors in the middleweight division. An excellent boxer, he holds victories over Joey Giambra, Jose Gonzalez, Gil Turner, and Kid Gavilan. He has won 68 out of 83 fights, 22 by knockout. Farid Salim versus Yama Bahama next Saturday on the Fight of the Week, brought to you by El Producto, America's largest selling quality cigar, and by the Gillette Safety Razor Company. Bell for round seven, Paolo Rossi, the black trunks, Carlos Ortiz in the way. Rossi has landed some jolting blows lately. There have been no knockdowns. Ortiz, who set a pretty good pace in the beginning, is now letting Rossi make the pace. Seems very strong. Rossi was jolted by a smashing right hand. He ran right into it. He wobbled ever so slightly. All right, all right. One minute to go in round seven. Seconds to go in round seven. Connor, they applied ice packs between rounds. This is round eight, Rossi in black and Ortiz in white trunks. I'd say a pretty close fight. now. Two 
minutes left in this round. above the left eye on the eyebrow, but not very seriously, I'm sure. Over in his corner, they work rather strenuously on him. That's Johnny Sulo cleaning off the face. Charlie Cassato and Chick Vitti in there with him. There have been no knockdowns in the fight, although it's been a rugged one. On the other side of the ring, Charlie Goldman, Sammy Sharon, and Jimmy August in the corner of Carlos Ortiz. A remarkable uh, cut job done by Charlie Goldman tonight. Or Ortiz might have been out, out of there long ago. He sustained a pretty bad cut around the left eye in round one. And uh, Goldman apparently has kept it under control as, one as, the, as well as the one around the right eye. Two big rounds now. Round nine coming up. Rossi in black, Ortiz in white trunks. He doesn't look 
too good in there, but he's battling back gamely. Now he's landed some lusty pelts himself. Round A was a big round for Ortiz. Round nine, a big round for Rossi. Ortiz comes back. It's been a good one. All right, I got the call. Come on. About 15 seconds left. There's the final bell of a good one. No hard feelings. The officials, uh, if you're lucky, you may still be able to find a Gillette adjustable razor with free World Series encyclopedia attached. Get hold of it if you can. It's a honey. I was about to say the officials are checking the cards. Jack Duberstein and Frank Morris of the commission with Johnny Addy over there in the corner. There was one knockdown in the fight scored by Rossi in the ninth round. Ortiz bounced up at about a one count and had to take the auxiliary, or rather the mandatory eight count. Now Johnny's coming in with the decision. Referee Ruby Goldstein 
and Judge Frank Forbes both score at the same. Six, three, one even, Fader Vaughn ten. and the 69th Regiment uh, bathrobe. Very happy over the decision over game uh, hard-fighting Paolo Rossi. There's Ortiz. Winning a unanimous decision. 6-3-1, 6-3-1, and 6-4. We invite you to be at television ringside next Saturday night and enjoy the 10-round middleweight match between Farid Salim and Yama Bahama from Madison Square Garden on the fight of the week. Produced by Hugh Beach. Directed by 